Hello, how are you going? I'm just back from my walk and um, I had lots of stuff kicking around my head this morning. So, which often happens. Sometimes it's just a fucking void in there, but today there's lots of things kicking around. Um, it's not all of them useful, but that's okay. That happens. Um, but the thing that the big message that's coming through for, you, for all of us today is that we're not here forever. We get this thing in our heads that we're gonna we're gonna do this later and we're gonna this is gonna happen and you know what you know this will happen and blah. Sometimes you don't get a fucking choice. Sometimes shit happens that puts you in a position where you go, oh fuck, you know, I've got to plan things differently, or you know, or suddenly I'm dead, or you know, like that. That life changes in a big way. So what is it that's fucking holding you back at the moment? Is it finances and you can sort that shit out? Is it self doubt and you've got to stop fucking around with that because seriously, it's wasting your time. You are amazing and you need to own that shit. What is it? Like, what is it that you're not doing? And I was thinking about like from. Like I could have, oops, oops, um, I could have, and it's not that they're a big deal, but I could have sat on the fucking honest deck forever. I could have not done that. I could have gone, oh, they'll probably give a few people a laugh, which is exactly what I was thinking. A few people might have a laugh at these. They might be worth a bit of a giggle and um, and not done it. And now there's all these decks out there in the world, but it would have been really, it actually would have been fucking easier to not do it. But I would have been spewing to know that what the potential what they've turned into for me and for everybody and the fact that they have given heaps of people, heaps more people than I could have imagined, they've given them a laugh and some really fucking honest, you know, accurate answers. Um, but the, oh, man, shit going everywhere here. But the point is, like, it, it would have been easier to just go, oh, gee, it's a bit hard. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've got a bit of doubt about that because it was a fuck ton of doubt. Let me tell you, it was scary as all get out. But they're out there in the world now and I'm so happy that they are because I would have been spewing if I didn't. You know what I mean? And it's led to other things and led to other things because that's how life works. We don't know which step is significant. You've got to take all the steps. It's really important because it leads to something and it leads to something else. And I think that that's part of the reason that um, particularly a fucking – Bloody love teenagers. Some of them are rat bags. Yeah, but you look and go, oh, they're naughty. <laughs> giggle, giggle. Probably shouldn't, but you know. And there's others that are just so fucking filled with doubt and anxiety and all the things. And it breaks my heart because they have got significant shit to do. But because we can't see it, we can't plan it out, we don't know what it is. We go, oh, fuck, I, I, I don't know, or I'm scared, or what's the point? And that that's an absolute fucking tragedy. Anybody out there going, what's the point? Let me tell you, you are the point. You matter significantly, a huge amount, more than you will ever know, to people you probably even haven't fucking met yet, to possibly even to people that you don't know and will never know. Like you could be fucking walking down the street wearing that particular pair of shorts or your hair down that particular way and someone going, holy fuck, that looks cool on that that kid, that human, that, that adult, that elderly person, whatever, whoever. And you've triggered something in them that's led them to do something fucking awesome and you don't even know about it. You've got, we've all got that role to play where we contribute to other people in a different way. I love when I um, I love when things happen, particularly on the road, because number plates matter to me, um, and cars in general, because cars are often a bit of a sign for me, woo woo wise. And um, you know, I'll be driving around going, "Fuck me!" You know, the universe told me there's parking here and there's not. And what the hell? And then I go, "Ah." Oh, I bet my number plate means something to someone. I bet my particular colour car means something. It's fucking white and boring as hell, but, you know, technically. Maybe this particular car means something to someone on this particular day. Or, you know, someone's got to see what's going on around me or whatever or it's put me in a position where, you know, someone's stopped and they wouldn't have otherwise or something. There'll be a fucking reason that shit's going wrong for you because it's helping someone else down the track. So own that shit own the fact that you matter and you're contributing in ways that you don't even know because it really is fucking important absolutely it is your cards today from the fairies i love the fairies oh but there's there's honestly more on the floor than there is on up here with me oh look at, have we got her yes i love the hooker ones look at her fucking friday morning ass hanging out all over the place you go girlfriend you own that shit if you're rocking that fairy body you get it out seven of spring be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. Yes, yes, all of that. And at the same time, don't be an asshole. So, um, yes, stand up for yourself. Be awesome, but don't be a dick about it. Don't be standing up to the fucking 15-year-old working in the cafe. Just give them a fucking tip on the way out. Be nice. Oh, coffee. Almond milk coffee. I've discovered that the flavors of almond milk matter oh my fucking god i've had some shit coffees on the way back from adelaide in adelaide all good on the way back people didn't have the right and they warned me they said we don't think this is the right milk i went no what the fucking almond milk how hard could it be oh yuck toxic waste 
Anyway, be assertive. Stand up for yourself. You are worth it. Don't put up with other people's shit, but don't be an asshole. I think that's really important. I think that should be in brackets here somewhere. Um, but have a look at that too. Look at her power, her strength. I love that. Everyone can be that strong. Everyone can be that fucking determined. Use it. Use it, use it, use it to your advantage. Oh, I feel very ranty today. Let's clear some of this shit out of the way. Let's get things moving for you. Let's back away from all the shit that's held you back. That that energy that kind of gathers around you and creates this situation where either you're fucking angry or you're, you're just a little bit terrified or, you know, you're exhausted and you've melted down or whatever. We can shift that. You don't have to do it on your own. Fucking ring me, book a session online or in person. We will sort that shit out. Have a gorgeous day. Love the shit out of yourself. Have a beautiful weekend. Be nice to other people because you can and you are very, very good at it. So please continue doing that. See you. Bye.